All right, so we're going to uh, show you how to clean, thoroughly clean, a dishwasher. In this case, the Kenmore Elite. And this is the particular model that we have. I'll put the model number in the uh, description. But. So it's got the micro clean and the turbo clean and all the other cleans, but unfortunately, it didn't stay very clean inside. We've had it for about five years now, and I'll just show you what the inside looks like. So behind all the turbo clean and the what they call the wash tower in the back is all this red gunk. So the only way to get all the red gunk out, they've been, we've been cleaning it with uh, vinegar and baking soda according to the instructions. We didn't start out doing that, but the last few years we have done. Behind all this, uh, behind all this, uh, let's tip this up a little bit there. Let's see where is it? There it is. Behind all the uh, innards of the dishwasher, all this red uh, bacteria has been growing. I'm assuming it's bacteria. It was like a bacterial mat. So we're going to get all that cleaned out. And the only way to do that is to take everything out. So I'm kind of in the middle of the job. I realize it might be useful to somebody else because I, I looked for a video about how to take apart the uh, dishwasher, t the water tower in the back of this particular dishwasher. I couldn't find one. So let's go into the. Uh, bathroom and I'll show you how I'm going to be cleaning these different parts in the bath bathtub. We'll come back and clean all this out, all this stuff out as well. And uh, that's how we're, we're, that's what we're going to spend the afternoon doing. So not my favorite way to spend an afternoon, but it's got to get done. All right, so you're going to be careful when you're using uh, chemical, household chemicals. So I always I'm working with bleach, I always wear eye protection. And it's gonna be wearing a mask, because this stuff is pretty nasty, so. I'm gonna be using, to clean these parts, I'm gonna be using this uh, foaming bleach. So again, you can't use bleach on the stainless steel, but you can use bleach on these uh, plastic parts, because they don't contain metal, so. The other thing I've done is I've mixed uh, powdered uh, dish, uh, laundry detergent with bleach. So, again, you have to be super careful combining household chemicals, but in this case, uh, laundry detergent and bleach can coexist in, the, in your washing machine, so they certainly can coexist out here. So. But in this case, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use this product by itself. Uh, it's because it's going to be easier and it'll uh, be able to penetrate into some of the nooks and crannies, hopefully. So, so let's put our gloves on our mask and our gloves and then we'll I'll show you how bad this is. So using these Playtex gloves, these are good. Long sleeves, shirt. So if you saw the gunk that was in the back of the dishwasher, well this is what was up against that. So you can really see how this is all piled up on it. So probably we're just gonna try to rinse some of this off. Just using mechanical rinsing. This is five years worth of accumulated uh, uh, red gunk. I'm just going to call it the red gunk. So I'll finish this up. And I'll, I'll, I'll finish mechanically cleaning these parts. These I've already done. This is the bottom spray arm. I've got that out already. And this is part of the uh, part of the turbo wash that goes around the sides and the back. So I haven't cleaned these with bleach yet, but I've, I've mechanically cleaned them so far. So we'll finish this up, and then I'll come back and show you how we're using this uh, foaming bleach stuff. This red red gunk was always just clogging up, clogging up our uh, nozzle on top here. That's why I wasn't cleaning because this red gunk was blocking the flow. 
So I'm going to spray in there. I get some in there. I tried to get this off, but I was afraid of breaking it, so I wasn't able to get it off all the way. But we're rinsing it from the bottom. We're putting water in either this hole or over here to get water out through this thing. So we'll probably put some in here now to uh, I'm gonna let this soak with the bleach a little bit first though. So let this soak with the bleach. I'll let some of this in here too. But there was a whole bunch in this area. Nice moist region for it to grow. And we're gonna be rinsing this super well again. So it's a long process here, but we, we want to uh, make sure that it doesn't come back for a while. So we're also gonna be, uh, we are cleaning it once a month, like I said, we're gonna keep doing that with the vinegar. Hopefully, and you know, we didn't do it for the first few years, so that could be part of the problem, probably is the problem. But we don't want it to uh, come back, so we wanna do as much as we can to kill it off. So it can't uh, multiply easily. Now we'll go back to the first one. Start rinsing it off. So we'll try to rinse everything really well, like I said, we don't want bleach in there. Right, I'll finish rinsing all this stuff up and then we'll go back to the dishwasher itself and clean that out. We're gonna get all that stuff that was inside the interior of the dishwasher, obviously. We don't want it coming back, so. Okay, like I said before, the, the harshest thing we can put in the stainless steel dishwasher is this vinegar, so. You can see in the back there, I zoom in, there's all that gunk on the back wall that was hiding underneath the uh, water tower that we took out, I showed you cleaning in the bathtub earlier. So we need to get all that off the wall. I don't want to Leave it in the dishwasher if I can. So I'm going to put it, put it in this plate, and of course we're going to wash this later. Just by kind of grabbing it, plopping it in there. It's distributed throughout the dishwasher. So. All right, so we'll get all this up that we can, and then I'll switch to using the sponge and the vinegar and scrape down the insides. So. Okay, I think I've done all I can me me mechanically, so I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, this with, without using something, without using this, this um, sponge, I'm going to start sponging down the inside of this with vinegar. Okay, so I've scrubbed down all the walls pretty well, and I put quite a bit of vinegar in the dishwasher, so before I reassemble it, and I want to get all this stuff in the bottom out if I can. So we'll, and we've also put some uh, dishwashing soap in here. So before I put everything back together, I'm just going to run a, a quick rinse cycle. So just to kind of flush all this vinegar out and all this dish soap, and then we'll see how much cleaner it looks. Well, we're waiting for that to finish. I'll show you how to uh, get this uh, spray arm off of uh, the bottom of this top rack. So the water comes in the back of the top rack one of these two nozzles and then uh, the other one is supposed to be closed off by a flapper valve which after five years is not working great I mean the, it's been stuck in the bottom one so long that I think if we moved it so it's using the top one this one wouldn't close but luckily we're just keeping using this one so we first noticed a problem when this these things were clogged up it looks like they're clogged up again I guess I better clean these out so uh, to remove this you just rotate this base here and then you can see that there's red gunk right in there. And over here, and over here on top. So I need to clean these out again. So, okay, this is a place where water accumulates in between washings. There's water sitting in there. And the red gunk loves water and starts growing. So it also got all along these things. So I, when I first started cleaning it a few, uh, six months ago, I started cleaning these things for really a while. So you have to take the, the racks out to clean it. And of course, if you want to disassemble it like I did today, you got to take all these racks out too, so. Uh, again, the top back rack in is a little bit, it's not super tricky, but it's slightly tricky, so I'll show you how to do that. Good. But meanwhile, I'll go back to the uh, 
bathtub and clean this out. So, again, just by driving water through here, and then it'll come out these little nozzles. And I'll use the toothbrush to clear these out. Eventually, if you start, you spin this around enough, I'll, all the gunk will come out. Okay, cycle finished. So uh, before I uh, um, show you how it turned out inside, we're going to go ahead and reassemble this uh, spray arm. So again, you just you just uh, see where it goes on there. You just put it on here and rotate it clockwise. It'll click into place. So it's ready to go. We cleaned this out as you saw a minute ago on the bathtub. So, so we've cleaned the inside as best we can. Let's take a look what it looks like inside. And then I'll reassemble the wash tower, the water tower, and we'll uh, run our, another cleaning cycle of vinegar and baking soda, and then hopefully it'll be good to go for another, at least another year. I'm hoping not to do this more than once a year. So let's look inside. So things got pretty clean. Again, it didn't, there were no spray arms, so it couldn't get anything up higher here like this. But the bottom, the bottom is clean. So all that vinegar and uh, dish soap and whatever is rinsed out. There's some little residual stuff here by the front. I'll scrape that out uh, with the sponge. And then we'll, uh, I'll show you how to reassemble the wash tower. All right, now we need to put in this other turbo rack. And that clips, snaps in here. And there's, again, in the back here is that hole I showed you earlier. This goes on these brackets on the side. Just snap in here. These turbo things on the bottom spin around. They turn on turbo mode, they spin around. So. Okay, so that's all in. Now we can put in the this thing. And I'm going to put this bottom spray arm back in. So let's just, just go on like the top spray arm. The spray arm on the bottom of the of the uh, top bracket just goes on and you rotate it clockwise and it snaps in and this spins around. So this is this is a, f a fancy feature of this dishwasher that these, this arm gets into the corners as it spins around it gets into the corners. Alright it's time to put the top rack back in. So we have to pull these rails all the way out and then here it's got these little bumps Right here and here. Let's sit in the uh, let's sit in the rail. So we also want to have this, this side. This top top rack adjusts at different positions. So we want to have it at the lowest setting, which is down here. So make sure both sides are set to the lowest setting. That gives us more room up on top. So. Now you just lay this in here, so that the little bump goes into a little U-shaped thingy on the rail on both sides. Get this side in here. There. And that's pretty much it. So that's it for that. Yeah, that's what we want. And then we're going to put the top, the bottom rack in. The bottom rack just slides in, so. Do anything with that. It rolls in. And now we're going to go ahead and do a vinegar and, and a baking soda cycle. Okay, so we've got this position in the bottom rack here. Then we just fill this two cup measuring cup up with vinegar. You're not supposed to pour it directly in. I guess they want it to be diluted somewhat. So as the water sprays around, it'll fill up this uh, measuring cup and, and get the vinegar to come out into the dishwasher. So we're going to put that in. We're on a regular uh, wash cycle. We want to wash as much as we can. So we'll come up here and I'll show you what cycle I'm going to use. So, so we're going to use it on pots and pans and we're going to use it on uh, turbo zone because we want the turbo zone we want the um, water to go through the turbo zone parts. We're not going to dry it because we're going to Run right after. We're going to do a sand and rinse and a high temperature wash. Okay, that's going to take three hours and 16 minutes. So we're going to start this and we'll come back when it's all done and I'll show you how it came out. And then once that's done, we'll run a quick wash cycle 
with this uh, baking soda. Kind of ne neutralize the vinegar and um, help uh, make it smell better. Okay, it's the next morning and it says sanitized. Let's take a look in here. This part didn't get very clean. I'll have to swap that a little bit. Looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep cleaning it once a month and I'll probably try a commercial cleaner uh, the first few months just to uh, see if that does anything better. Oh, the thing I'm going to do is we're going to start running on high temperature wash I think. I think the problem is we turn down our water here like most people are supposed to do to save energy which is fine for showers but for doing a dishwasher is not is not great as you can see with our experience so the high temperature we should kill the bacteria we're going to start running high temperature wash all the time if you like this video please give it a thumbs up post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and i'll try to respond that's all for now but more videos are coming and if you want to see them please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one this is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.